Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home of the Tipper Truck Army, the only one in the world, the only one that the world needs. So, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, this is one of my first Lego sets, set 435, the Tipper Truck, 17-piece set. You can build it blindfolded. Anybody can build it blindfolded. It's only got 17 pieces. And what I'm going to do in this video is actually a suggestion from a viewer and I was like I don't know why I didn't think of this and this is something that a lot of people do with bigger more impressive sets um, but you know this is a set that came out in the mid 1970s so it's got primary colors because that's basically the only colors you had the red yellow blue you also had black and white and then a few other colors just in a small amount but those were the main colors that you had for lego so this set what we're going to do is it the suggestion is from dimitri ac and he said why not build it in other colors according to what the, the grill color is so the grill on this one is red and so the whole rest of the truck base is red so i can expound on that they made five different colors of the grill now, even though it says in the BrickLink inventory that there's the white with the silver, the chrome silver, I couldn't find one in my collection. I can only find white with the black, so that doesn't matter. But there are five different colors. There's white, black, blue, yellow, and the red. So we got the red already. So I need to make four different versions. And i got to kind of adjust it because with the red, the, the supports for the tipper are a different color so I'll do that so I'm want to show you show you that I thought it was a neat little uh, idea of course people have done it with things like the Mini Coopers uh, even I think the VW camper van just change it to other colors that they like I even saw brick trains just did it with the vintage car that was the Lego ideas uh, that uh, he changed it instead of the turquoise he made one that was red which uh, looked he also showed a picture of one, so check out Brick Trains if you want to see that. But let's get to building. I got all the parts lined up here on the table, and we're going to build uh, five, five of these. So I think I got all the parts laid out. There's 17 for each tipper truck. So this is to build another one, the standard tipper truck. So these are the colors that relate to the grill. So we got the white ones, the black ones, the yellow ones, and the blue ones. And the then the other thing is the the part for the supports to hold the tipper. And on this one, they're yellow. So I need to do a different color than the grill. But I I was trying to decide what would work best. I don't know. Probably should do. It. This is just going to be black and white. These two. <laughs> There's going to be black and white. Probably should have done a different color, and then the yellow and blues are contrasting there. We'll see how it turns out. So the basically, with the tipper truck, you got the piece that overhangs the front. Then you got piece the one by fours go there. Then under the wheel. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. That one does not have clutch power, apparently. Hmm. That's not good. So apparently that one by f that two by four is a little bit. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it this way. There, and then this piece goes under. Am I building this right? I've only built this a thousand times. Get the wheels on there. Oh my goodness, peaceful. <laughs> there we go. It didn't want to go. Then the, the supports. All right, I've never built the tip. Oh, and I should mention, some might be asking about the uh, bucket. It only comes in blue and yellow. Uh, the, and the yellow one only came in one set. So I, I was thinking about getting some more of those. I'm going to set the built ones. I set there. So the next one we'll do is the the white. Let's see if this will work. Huh. 
<laughs> I think I should have done a different color for the support. I wish they did make different colors besides blue and yellow for that. All right, now we'll do the black one. I don't know. If the, <laughs> it's a really neat idea that Dimitri had. This is going to be the, in, the inversion, inverted version uh -oh, of the other. Ah. Uh, ugh, my fingers are hurting. For some reason it is hard to do these wheels. Don't know why. So there's the another black and white tipper truck. Yeah, would oh man, the wheels are sad. Don't have them on there good. Now, I think the blue and yellow ones might look... You know, I feel like... I feel like I should have done a different color for the supports. But y'all can tell me in the comments below um, if I sh should use a different support color for some of these. We can always change it. It's not that big a deal. It has to be... I think, though, it has to be colors that were available in that time period. So we were only limited to about six different colors. And this thing is not wanting to stay. Not much uh, clutch power on this. But yeah. I just thought it looked neat with. Oh, you know what? This won't look neat with the blue because the blue will be the same color as the tipper right there. So I almost feel like that should be red. What do you think? And now the blue one. A lot of different options, I guess, even though it's not that many colors for the um, what colors you use for the different pieces. And obviously, the the base color that depends on the headlight, but the supports. I don't know. I just don't know if that looks right. Uh oh, missed that one up. Almost done. Uh oh. Hard to get these on there. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, the gravel quarry's got some different odd colored tippers, <laughs> tipper trucks. All right, so again, this is the standard design of a tipper truck. Here's the white base. I, oh my goodness. I used the black supports. Probably should have used a different color. Same with this one with the black base and the white supports. I just don't know. All right, well, I don't know. I guess it works. I guess it works. And then we got the yellow. This is the one. Maybe I should use a different color. I don't know. Uh, and then the blue one. All right, so tell me what you think. <laughs> oh, this is sad. I just, I was hoping it would look more contrasting. So yeah, I probably do need to use different colors because that's only two. There's only two colors. See this one. Well, there's only two colors here as well. All right, maybe I'm I'm overanalyzing it. It'll work. It'll work. Good idea. I like the idea. Thank you. Here. All right, so the Tipper Truck Customs, uh, we've done them. Appreciate it, the idea. It's a little bit different style of a video. I don't, I haven't really, you know what? I really appreciate uh, the suggestion because I don't do enough of my own original design. And again, this isn't my own original design. It's, it's a suggestion uh, from a viewer. And I, I, do, I do like it. I do like the um, how these... 
uh, turned out and I'll keep these on display to go with the the rest of the tipper truck army as we uh, complete that I still got some pending orders I'm waiting on I could actually build probably about 50 of them right now but I was thinking about waiting until I had a hundred <laughs> and with these we've got the two regular ones here that I just and I got two four I got like 13 or 13 built uh, we're going to do a lot more than that and plus the four additional colors that we have these four <laughs> so anyway yeah thanks for the suggestion thank you for watching this video and we'll oh i forgot to mention <laughs> different t-shirt each day this is another vsauce curiosity box t-shirt it's got the um, the design of the impossible cube or whatever with ink the inquisitive octopus you know the what do they call those, uh, that artist who used to draw the impossible um, staircases and things? Um, yeah, that's what this is kind of kind of based on. But thank you again, and uh, we will see you tomorrow in another shirt. Man, I hope I don't run out of shirts. I'm definitely not going to run out of tipper trucks. <laughs>